So we're gonna move on to the next view, which is gonna be our three drawer drawer bank. And we'll get this view open as well. And so since I have this view open, I'm gonna start here and transfer over my sizes. So my overall size is 28 inches. I'm gonna put that in here, 28 inches. My size down for this drawer slide support, if I look over here on the left side, I can see it's seven and three quarters. So I'm gonna transfer that number over here and put seven and three fourths inches and control Z or command Z to get that to pop out. Now, how long is that? Now the length of this is going to be set by our cabinet that is our side view. So we can't do that one yet, but we have these other drawer slide supports that need to be entered and we can follow those over here on the left side. So right down here, I have four and a half inches from the floor to the bottom of that support. So I'm gonna come over here and this is the matching number. So four and seven sixteenths. If we take a look at this next drawer slide support, we can correspond the measurement on this left view over here, 15 and five eighths. And we can just transfer that right over here and put 15 space five divided by eight inch mark control Z or command Z to undo that. And then we have still your sizes here and those are gonna come from the side view. So let's open up our side view. And our side view is 12 inches without the face frame. And that's this bottom one here without the face or with the face frame. So from the back of the cabinet all the way to the front. So the back of the cabinet all the way to the front is 12 inches. And the back of the cabinet to the back of the face frame. So back of the cabinet to back of the face frame is 11 and an eighth. And that's the same view here, back of the cabinet, back of the face frame. So 11 and one eighth inches and pop that out to a bigger size. And now we have uh, one left here and this is the length of that drawer slide support. So we're gonna take 11 and an eighth minus a half inch and minus a quarter inch for this groove. And that size is going to be um, 10 and three eighths. So right here, we're gonna just put in 10 and three divided by eight inches. And pop that size out. So that's all we would need to do for the drawer bank to get those sizes correct.